my nose like ah oh, okay yeah he uh <laughs> last time he popped off like that was when they actually beat team iowa flash flood team iowa with the reverse 3-0 at ug actually really and uh he came in for a hug and just like completely knocked me out like just obliterated <laughs> me like just just hard reads got bodied it was bad dude but <laughs> dude, anyway like speaking of got bodied. dude right now <laughs> and speaking of not getting body man we got um nebraska going up against each other unfortunately here in semifinals yeah. of doubles here quaz um, and I say that how it's pronounced. Quaz, Quaz and Quad A face off against Free Candy, which is Team Neutron. And uh, this we're in for a set here. Yeah, uh, I was honestly, uh, I think Wes was. Uh, I was playing with Wes actually, and uh, he was actually practicing his Diddy Kong. I'm like, why aren't you going Greninja? Like he, I, he just wants to warm it up. Plus, he has fun with him. <laughs> and I think that's one thing that unfortunately um, stops. Wesley sometimes for being an optimal player. I know, like, he was really good when the game first came out. Then he kind of took a break that he came back. But I really yeah. feel like if he just took the time to really figure out a main, he would be in good shape. I know he's tried Samus. He's tried Rob. He's tried so many other characters. And don't get me wrong, in a game like Smash 4, yeah. this is not a game of tier lists. This is a game of matchups. You have to have at least a, a, a main and a pocket in here. But oh, yeah, definitely. when you play 7,000 different characters at once, it, it shows in your placings and it shows in your performance. And I just feel like Wesley just needs to pick up a main, man. Greninja was good. I really like him. He's, Hopefully he's, we see him again. Well, he still he still plays mostly like Greninja, but like he like he's like you said, he has a pocket or a secondary as well, like um, Diddy Kong. So that's I mean, Diddy Kong is actually not a really bad pocket because he, he covers a lot of like bad matchups. That like he does. Bayo. <laughs> yeah, that he does. Yeah. 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 Rest in peace, Bayo, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. I I don't know. I just. He really going to have to figure, figure something out here. I know a lot of times Wesley gets frustrated when he loses, and I'm just like, dude, if you would just just work on that Greninja. Like, I know that Greninja is just so godly here. But, oh, yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, though, you know, Team Neutron, they're very, very strong together, and they're very, very strong separately, but I think they're even better together. And I see them uh, taking dubs today, if not getting at least second or third, man. Oh, yeah. But I, um, Wes and Quaz actually uh, have extremely good synergy, surprisingly. Like, they were just pulling off team combos left and right. That they were. But uh, Spanky and uh, Credit God, like, like you said before, weekly sessions to train, all that sorts of jazz. So they got the advantage, kind of. Definitely, man. And they have brought this one back in terms of stocks. Oh, good down smash right there. And that could possibly be a dead Mac. But, uh, no. oh, good Jolt Haymaker right there to recover back towards the ledge. Now, that actually is invincible on startup. So you might as well just let him throw that. I did not know that at all. Yeah, man. Just just let him throw it, dude. Just let him throw it. <laughs> but Quaz is too stubborn to get gimped like that. I know how he is. Yeah. Oh, he's throwing out the KO punch. Oh, and oh. fantastic job right there by Quaz to recover low and just totally avoid the flood at all costs, dude. Oh, yeah. Like I said, he's too stubborn to get gimped. Mm -hmm. And a little team uh, uh, miss synergy there, I guess, from the green team. They're just... I mean, he had the good punish there, but unfortunately, I think Wesley got in the way and Quaz ended up eating a down smash. Now, yeah. they did get that stock off of Spanky J, so they're back in this, man. They're far from out. Oh, yeah. Um, like, oh, shoot. I keep on thinking that uh, Spanky is in Quaz's team, but whatever. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, now, I know Credit God's about to um, camp the ledge, charge the limit. Because he, he's the stock tank right now, I'm like Spanky. Now, if I'm in the green team shoes, I'm like, okay, I got a Diddy Kong on my team and I got a Mac. Let Mac handle Spanky. I understand Quaz and Spanky have a, a bit of history together in terms of playing each other. Yeah. One could definitely best the other one and get in each other's heads. Don't let Cloud go to Battlefield and just camp. Diddy Kong has the mobility to negate that, but unfortunately, Diddy Kong also has the ability to be killed relatively early. Finds himself with a ticket to the blast zone. Oh, yeah. And thinks it's got a little bit more heart. And, yeah, it looks like Quaz is, I think Quaz might uh, get gimped, maybe. But right now, showing that he doesn't want to. Oh, uh, yeah. I didn't see why Quaz just side beat off the stage, because uh, he was already, like, Flood was already ready. If he had an up beat, so he would have been screwed. Yeah. Very interesting finish right there. Um, dominant start right there from the red team, though they fizzled out towards the middle. The green team had a slight comeback, but they still fell slightly short. Yeah. Um, and I just think that was because they allowed Credit God to do a lot of charging. If yeah. it does come down to the two 1v1 situations, make sure that Mac and Mario are fighting each other. Yeah. That matchup is evenish. Let Cloud be handled by Diddy Kong. Diddy Kong has maneuverability off the platforms so or just on the stage in general yeah. to keep up with Cloud and just negate all that. 
charging and all that jazz. But yeah, it is what it is, though. Yeah. But then again, if uh, Cloud gets damaged, he still gets a uh, he still gets a uh, limit faster, which I don't find a good mechanic. Like it, it's not a good mechanic in my opinion. Yeah. No, I feel you. Yeah. But uh, Wes is pulling out the Grand Engine now. Okay. And <laughs> at, uh, Omega uh, Boxing Ring, dang. Now the first character that we complained about in Smash 4, it was Greninja. So let's see if that fall from grace was just like, let's see if it was uh, done in vain here. Let's see if he can try to bring some uh, some of that good old-fashioned 3DS day shine back. Oh, yeah. Our, uh, Wes, is, uh, Wes is actually really good with, uh, like, um, using the uh, side B uh, hit stun cancel. Yes. He's really good at doing that, especially, like, uh, like with Quaz. Uh, like, he has multiple hit moves. He can just side B out of it, like, like that, like, just instantly. Now, see, the issue with a lot of guys who play Melee and Project M is that when they come over to Smash 4, they always want that character that feels like Melee. Oh, he's yeah. tried Sheik. He's tried Samus. But I think Greninja's uh, more up his alley. Oh, oh yeah, wow. definitely. And no platforms for Cloud to get a hold of. Now you cannot avoid the KO punch. It's easy. Oh, oh but, but it's already gone. Absolutely, man. Only seven seconds of invincibility. Dang. All right. But uh, Jeremy's just sitting in shield a lot. Really. That he is. Like, you could just, like, come up and grab and just start, a, like, a huge string or so just something to, like, get him moving. Yeah, for sure. Okay, a nice water shuriken right there. Sending Mario clear into the blast zone, but he does find his way back on stage here. Now, fantastic back throw. Oh, oh and right as it was coming out, unfortunately, Spanky J hit him with the sour forest mass. And unfortunately, and could not save them, him. Oh my god! And couldn't save himself either. Dang! All right. What a rough start to this match, dude. Then again, you never know. They could they could always bring it back. There's always that huge comeback factor. Absolutely, like, man. Like we, they're in the process right now. Especially when you got a cloud on your team, man. Anything is possible for oh, the yeah. most part. So, so nice back air right there from a uh, cloud. Man, that was just some there good team synergy. That was some good just situational awareness. Yeah. Landed that fantastic back air and just, you know, sent Mac into the blast. Even if it didn't kill, I mean, that you knew he wasn't coming back. Yeah. Oh, and good help right there from Quade. Knew Mac was going to get punished after throwing all those jabs. Yeah. Came in with the back air of his own. Kept Spanky J at bay. Oh, yeah. But, oh, my gosh. What's my like if it comes to the 2v1 situation, West my oh my gosh. No. Oh, and for the second time today we've seen we've the seen. just the bad team synergy from the green team. That is the second KO punch that he has landed. It was done in good spirit. It was a definite good idea, but sadly, it was just executed just poorly. inefficiently. Yeah, poorly yeah. and just oh my god. Well, that 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 KO punch just literally made the match more even for the red team now. That it did. Because West was at, I think, low percentage. I'm yeah. not entirely sure. He was at like 60%. He had a lot of life left yeah, to live. He, and yeah, he, just, he, did. he died. He died early, man. He didn't even get a chance to become a full frog, dude. It was bad. Yeah. He didn't even get a chance to see his mega form that's getting <laughs> ready to come out. Oh, no. Oh, and oh. that is a dead Mac. And just like that, we are neck and neck again, ladies and gentlemen. This is even out for the most part. Oh, and the combo's coming out from Cloud, man. Sour Darren to up air, dude. You got to watch out. Oh, that, that could easily combo into finishing touch. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, that combo is nasty. For sure. All right, but, like, both of them are, like, relatively low percentage. Uh, if they can combo, like, rack up a little bit more damage with Cloud, I think they can definitely do this. Like, if they get rid of Cloud, I think uh, they'll be good because there's no going to be any, like, instant kill jank, like, limit side B or whatever. Well, the best bet right now is to stay center stays. The minute that anytime credit guy gets that limit, yeah. he always goes right to the ledge because he knows that that is an easy kill. Oh, that's punish. Yeah. Oh, good punish right there. Nice forward tilt. Credit guy finding his way back, but sadly had to use his limit to do so. And KO punches on uh, on the grid right now. And there it is. Oh, wow. Very strange. I mean, he just ran <laughs> right up and did that. Interesting. Yeah. But yeah, like right now, like the the setups that Quaz and uh, uh, Quad A have uh, for like, oh my gosh, not a good spot for him to be in. Quad A has to get out there and help Little Mac. Oh. He cannot allow him just to free fall back towards the ledge. He is very invulnerable. Oh yeah, or very there vulnerable. Excuse me. Sweet spot up smash. That dude has a sweet spot on frame one. What oh, yeah. the deuce? And Quaz told me that up, his up smash is actually the strongest up smash in the game. Yeah. Oh, dude, for sure. I agree. Yeah. Wow. 
very interesting comeback right there. The green team started off strong, fizzled out towards the tail end, and then brought it back at the last second. Yeah. Liking that one a lot, man. I think just the deciding factor in these matches are is how long can Cloud live. If you let Cloud live to like high percents, you're going to you're gonna lose. But if you yeah. can take him out, you got a fighting chance. But I guess the same could be said about Little Mac. A yeah. dead Mac is a good Mac. Yeah. And with how light he is, Cloud can smack him around pretty easy. Oh, yeah. Mac is like top... Like ten lightest characters in the game, dude. Really? Yeah, he's I, he's deceptively light. I thought he was like, I thought he was actually a little bit heavier than that. No, dude, he's deceptively light. Huh. All right. Okay. Now this is gonna be a rough one for Rob because yes, Rob has some good uh, matchups. He has some good setups. He has a lot of good tools he can use for killing. But sadly, the stage is so small here. Yeah. You run the risk of using one of your laser beams and knocking Mac off stage, and now you gotta go save him. Why yeah. you also have to save yourself? And going for the beep, oh my gosh, he just, uh, uh -oh. oh no. And that's a dead Little Mac, unfortunately, and Quad Day. Oh, oh no, he made it back. Jump. Oh my gosh, that hit his teammate, so, that almost hit his teammate, sorry about that. That it did, it's all good, nice down smash right there, Cloud with the jump, doesn't find his way back. There it is. And for some odd reason, opted for the cape instead of Nair. Yeah. Very strange, gets caught on the re-grab, nice down smash oh, yeah. from Quad. I think, th I think those situations, I kind of like, like on the spot, I think those are actually like the most stressful because, like, you just you don't th you think about most of your partner, but not yourself sometimes. Mm -hmm. Like we saw, I think game one uh, with uh, Spanky try to save Credit God, but unfortunately SD'd in the process. That he did. But yeah, right now the green. Oh shoot! Oh, unfortunately, eats a limit cross slash. Mac finds himself off stage. The airborne Mac is in full effect, but Quade oh coming back at the last second to help out when needed. Yeah, just stretching out the head, uh, the hitbox actually. So yeah, so, it's, yeah. Fun fact about Mac: Quad said that he actually throws uh, uh, down, angled downward for smash a lot, not because it does a lot of damage, but because it, it breaks, creates space. Yeah, and that it, it breaks shield. shields as well. Yeah, and so it, it's like, super safe. Yeah, like I, I saw, I actually saw their like their <gasps> first game. Oh my gosh, was. The, is that a dead Mac? That was, that a, dead was Mac. a dead Mac, and that was a fantastic cape right there. And sadly, that might have gave the red team just a bit of spark that they needed to bring this one back. Oh yeah. But right now, both of them are yeah, pretty much even game. Both of them have have stock tanks, but at the moment, uh, anything can happen with the uh, with with either with either team. Sorry. No, you're good. <laughs> good force mass right oh, there. Yeah. Yeah, man, uh, this is looking a little bit brighter right now for the green team. They get, they're doing a very good job of basically keeping Cloud off of his feet so he has a harder time charging Yeah, and keeping his feet off of the stage, man. I'm really liking the switch up here. And with Rob. Oh, that's punishable. Yeah. With Rob, he can actually, like, space people out a lot with uh, his projectiles. For sure. Also, oh. oh, my gosh. Actually, the fast he fast filled the beat boop, actually. That he did. Oh, oh, there it is. Another KO punch, and that is the deciding factor. How quick can you get rid of Mac? How quick can you get rid of Cloud? Oh, goes for the oh fair. Got, got a little greedy there. Spanky, uh, Spanky's got to play perfect just to win this, but it's looking really grim right now. That it is. He still has a whole another stock to take off of Rob. Rob's in at 122% with Rage, two stocks, and Mac doing what Mac does best, man, just sending you clear across the stage and yeah. taking you out. Nice down smash there. Mario, a little bit too heavy for and that, but... Sadly, SD's his last stock. Mm -hmm. Now, Mario's actually like 1920s heavy character in the game, tied. 